Well, Mo, as we're about to go take a walk in our beautiful neighborhood here in Charlotte, maybe it's time to reflect on some of the accomplishments that we had this year. So, Mo, why don't we go take a walk <laughs> and reflect upon the past year of 2015. Job creation was a major initiative again this year to help get people back to work, and especially under the leadership of Secretary John Scavarla and Economic Development Director Chris Chung. Our employment in North Carolina grew 16% faster than the national average, and North Carolina had the six most added jobs in the country. You know, not only that, but we paid off over $2.5 billion to the federal government and now, under the leadership of Dale Falwell, we have over $1 billion in reserves. But we didn't stop there. Our state legislature continued tax reform, returning over $4.4 billion to the hardworking families over the next five years throughout North Carolina. Speaking of families, helping those who can't help themselves while encouraging those who can continue to be a major philosophy of this administration. And one of the major issues we're dealing with is mental health and addiction throughout North Carolina. Jim Gardner successfully launched underage drinking initiative called Talk It Out NC. Former Secretary Voss and our legislature helped close a $500 million Medicaid shortfall into a $70 million positive asset. And the legislature also passed Medicaid reform and new Secretary Rick Brazier, working with Chief Justice Martin, continue to develop new efforts dealing with mental health and addiction. This year, 57% of the total budget I signed is going to education and it includes more than $700 million in new funding for K-12 education. We have committed more than $1 billion for teacher pay raises. In fact, according to the National Education Association, the percentage increase in North Carolina teacher salaries last year was the largest in the nation. In addition to students and teachers, we are investing in our military and veterans. Under Cornell Wilson's incredible leadership as the first Secretary of Military and Veterans Affairs, we signed into law this year state tuition for veterans at our universities and community colleges. You know, Mo, it was just three years ago when I gave the oath of office looking over the main street of Raleigh. We had to wait over nine months to finally get our legislature to restore historical tax credits to help revitalize the main streets of blighted buildings throughout North Carolina. Secretary Klutz and a lot of my old mayoral colleagues initiated a grassroots effort to make this happen, to help restore the main streets of North Carolina. You know, I'm also proud of our work with regard to the environment. Secretary Vandervaart has helped lead the effort in the cleaning up of coal ash. In addition, we're fighting unneeded regulations that take over North Carolina waters. And we're trying to keep power bills low for every working family in North Carolina so we won't have to implement unneeded regulations from Washington, D.C. We had major storms across the states from the mountains to the coast, which impacted everyone. But our emergency response team did a great job and they were second to nobody. Secretary Perry, Mike Sprayberry, General Luss, Colonel Gray, and our DOT helped clear roads, help our farmers, and even helped our neighbors in South Carolina with extensive flood rescues. Speaking of public safety, our number one priority in the state of North Carolina, we sent a strong message to President Obama regarding Syrian refugees. We ended sanctuary cities in North Carolina to make sure we're enforcing immigration laws, and we helped give much needed pay increases to prison guards and our highway patrol. Speaking of highways, Secretary of Transportation Nick Tennyson continued to implement our 25-year transportation plan, which connects small towns to all metro regions inside and outside of our state. And they now have shorter lines and better customer service to help citizens get driver's license online. Almost no waiting in the 21st century North Carolina. You know, one of the things I'm most proud of, Mo, is your mom helping rescue dogs and cats throughout North Carolina. I know you're proud of the First Lady too, just like I am. Now our work isn't done. Our citizens throughout North Carolina will have an opportunity to build upon our progress by voting on the Connect NC Bond Initiative in March to invest in our state's future, not only in education, but water and sewer projects, state parks, 
and helping our military installations. So needless to say, it's been a busy year, but we have a lot more work to do to continue the Carolina comeback. That's a wrap for 2015. On to 2016. Let's go, buddy. <laughs>